front where it says aims real big. Hi everyone, I'm out here in the Beechwood neighborhood of Cleveland, Ohio, and I'm here at Bahama Breeze. This is a mammoth sized restaurant here. It's, it's a pretty large joint for a restaurant. And it closed in 2020, and at the time it was the only location in the state of Ohio. Since then, I'm not sure if any other locations have opened up anywhere else or not. But as for this one, it's been closed now for about three to four years and just been sitting here decaying. And it's in a pretty busy area of Cleveland. So I'm kind of surprised that nothing took it over. There is a pretty busy shopping center right in front of me, a hotel, uh, looks like a hospital or a medical clinic over there. So there's even a busy cinema right here. So anyway, Bahama Breeze, I'm not very familiar with them. We have one in the Pittsburgh area out in Robinson and they have like Jamaican style food, Caribbean style food, anything you would think from the Bahamas. And I only went there one time many years ago and the food was pretty good. I can't complain, but that was also like 14 years ago. So it's hard to say about it anymore, but this one's been going for going on four years and I wanna check it out and see how it looks. So come along with me and we'll go out there and take a walk around this big beast. There she is, Bahama Breeze. Pretty large restaurant with some scenic views, honestly. I mean, you get some views of the highway and the whole neighborhood over here. The busy Interstate 271. And before we start looking around this restaurant, I wanted to point out the random things I've seen so far in this parking lot. You got a frying pan. You have an old wallet. And then up here, Oh, we got a little packet of mayonnaise. Rolled up socks. Litter everywhere. But this one probably takes the cake. This is from the power lines. Got another rolled up sock. Those are from that up there. <laughs> How they ended up down here? I have no idea. Unless whoever was working on the power lines one day just said, ah, hell. Hey, Frank, just toss them in that parking lot. Sure thing, boss. So, now that we got that out of the way, let's go check out the restaurant. Got an empty, uh, looks like, alcohol bottle. There we go, kicking stones again like I do. Uh, we'll walk up to these doors. I'm surprised it still has power, honestly. There's a look inside. Tables are gone, but the seats remain. Why? I don't understand that. The, the seat backs are gone, but the bottom portions are still there. See, I would like to sit in an area like this. Looks quite comfy. And I mean, it's just, it's a gigantic place. There's tables in here too. Well, there were. Let's take one more look over here because I saw it look like a doorway. There we go. I like to try and be as thorough as I can. I can't always do it, but I do try. So let's continue. Oh, handrail broke. Up the ramp we go. To this doorway here. We'll look through the window instead of the door. Chairs all stacked up. Doesn't really look bad. I, it, there have been footprints in there since it's been closed. You can see it in all the dust. And... I guess, I don't know, can you uh, basically see the same thing, even in 
here you can't really see a whole lot but that's okay we have a lot to cover here so let's go <laughs> and there's a red lobster right up the street you'll see that in an upcoming video as well like I said this place is just large in size I love this this dining arrangement over here. I love this. Got an energy drink can in there. Oh, look at that with the fireplace. Oh, wow, that's cool. I don't see any tables. Maybe they had tables here, or maybe they just had chairs and small tables. You could sit out here and just hang out, have a drink or two congregate hang out by the fire i don't know i they probably had seats out here and tables but that's really cool the wood's all rotted and here's their main entrance over here that's the other thing i wanted to point out this restaurant is already large in size look at this this is just from this side here but this parking lot is mammoth for a restaurant too Look how far back it goes. It goes all the way back there. And then there's the sign right there that they painted out. Big, big restaurant. And actually, this is a good angle to get my thumbnail for the video. <laughs> so, don't mind if I do. And I think that looks good right there. All right, let's continue on. Boy, but I love to get inside of this and walk around. And I'm not here to hurt anything. I'm not here to cause any trouble or any problems. I just I like to explore and take pictures. That's all. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to scare you. I scare myself sometimes, so don't feel bad. The, that's the timeout chair. <laughs> Can we see anything in here? Not really. It's just the entrance. Nope, not meant to be. Bahama Breeze. Beginning May 4th, 2020, this location is permanently closed. I think we know why. I hate to say, but you know what 2020 was, especially around that time. So, that's unfortunate. Let's take a look through these windows here. These windows are filthy. probably see more around the corner here we'll go over there so what can we see through this window they're filthy as heck big dining room lots of dining rooms here take a look through this window I just I love these seating areas though with the skylights like that how they're round like this. Very cool characteristics of this. Got a little walkway over here too. Multiple entrances and exits. I told you this place was huge. Yeah, look at that. Sorry, the glass is so dirty. There you go. Now you get a pretty good view in there. Minus any glare and the dirt on the glass. I really tore this place up. A lot of windows. I love that. I love a place with a lot of windows. My high school that I went to, the way it was built, we had a lot of classrooms on the interior portions of the building that didn't have any windows whatsoever. Just a thin little window by the door that faced into the hallway, and it drove me nuts for four years of that. Well, three, because 
ninth grade I was in a different building. Guess that'll be a wrap for here anyway. Pretty large place though. But I suppose we'll wrap it up. All right, everyone. Well, I hope you enjoyed that look at Bahama Breeze. Pretty large restaurant. I'll have to go back to the one in Pittsburgh sometime. It's been, like I said, it's been a good number of years since I've been there. But I guess I gotta replace the battery and the key fob for the B. It doesn't wanna work all the time. But that was fun. Hope you enjoyed. Boy, am I cold. Well, on that note, I'm going to head on out of here. Whew. We'll go to Red Lobster and see if we can find any Cheddar Bay biscuits up there. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate it. Oh, I'll show you the sign over there real quick, too, before we head on out. Not that it really matters, because you can't really see anything with it being painted black. But it grabs your attention. So let's show you that real quick. Yep, not much going on there. All right, go ahead and focus. There you go. Yeah, not much left. Oh, well. All right, everyone. Well, I guess that will wrap it up on that note. I'll see you over at Red Lobster. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care and stay awesome. Bye. Bye.